Hey, what's up? It's Slide 8 Fry here. So, um, you know, I wasn't actually going to post anything about this because it's going to be oversaturated by countless people talking about it, but. <laughs> oh my gosh. While I was waiting for DaVinci to install to my computer, since Adobe is being so evil and taking away my editing software that is Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, Photoshop CS6, After Effects CS6, and Encore CS6, which I paid hundreds of dollars for these programs in 2012. They are taking that away because it's not the most up-to-date, even though I should be able to use it freely because I paid for it and bought it myself. But yeah, fuck you, Adobe. Anyways, um, while I was installing DaVinci Resolve, to be my replacement edit editing software. And yes, I had mentioned that I was diff having difficulty installing it, but I finally got to install. Um, I, well, I saw some funny ass shit in regards to the trial. Now, first I saw Popcorn Planet talk about it and kind of, you know, play segments, but I went looking for the actual uh, footage and here it is. The doorman Alejandro o. Romero, and hey, if he's watching, he's he's not. But I'm so sorry that they put you through this. I am so sorry that they are trying so desperately to get you to say something that's bad against Johnny. They're trying so desperately to do that. And honestly, it's ridiculous. With the questions they ask him, how many times he said no, how he's even expressed literally during the video that he's tired of this trial. Dude, you screwed yourselves. The Amber Heard team really screwed up on this case, and I'm glad they did because I'm sick of how... It's not fair that Johnny Depp's career took a nosedive over something that Amber Heard clearly did. And, you know, Johnny Depp did not come back as Grindelwald, even though he was Grindelwald, the villain in the second Fantastic Beast movie. Because instead of waiting for the trial to happen, they decide, oh, because Amber Heard said it and she's playing the victim, oh, that means Johnny Depp is guilty. You have to wait until the goddamn court case, you bastards. And even before the court case happened, it was, was pretty obvious that Amber Heard is the monster. She's the bad guy, not Johnny Depp. Anyways, I gotta show you this. And if <laughs> it, it, it's pathetic. I'm not going to show the whole thing. It's it's long. I just want to show segments. Try to make my video not be too long. I've already been talking long enough to begin. We don't send it anymore because of the COVID. Uh, but Head butting her. You know one way or the other whether Mr. Depp ever did that to Ms. Her? Nope. Do you ever see Mr. Depp uh, slam things around or be angry? No, I have never seen him like that. I'm going to ask you some questions now about Amber Heard. When did you first meet Amber Heard? Okay, it's, I can skip ahead of this. With me, I believe her. Uh, sometimes used to get packages. Sometime around March 2016. Don't remember. Did you tell me one way or the other? I just can't remember. Like I say, it's been so long. I, I love how honest he is. I know you guys sent me the papers to review, and I'm gonna be honest. I like the way she's asking him, "Can you tell me?" Uh, he says he doesn't remember, and then she asks, "Can you tell me one way or the other?" And he just stays firm and says, "I don't remember." Like she's trying really hard to get him to say something that isn't true. He just doesn't remember. He can't tell. Like. That is a desperate, that is a very desperate lawyer right there. Very desperate. You're trying to get answers from somebody who doesn't remember. You're trying to force an answer out. That is so desperate. I don't didn't want to review him because it's been so long. It's like, uh, 
You guys don't want to deal with this anymore. Yes, I went through the written statement, and it's yeah, I'm laughing too. That, that's what I said. And that was correct. It was that was accurate. Okay, that's why I signed it. So during the time between 2015 total that you in a number, in one day probably not never been interactions with you. Were they friendly? Did she smile? Either. There's not never been a routine. Okay. Okay. How yes. would you describe Amber Heard's interactions with you? Were they actually? Yeah, that one's fine. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find the part. It's like six minutes in, I think, where she keeps asking him about his about her appearance, and it's like he, he clearly doesn't remember. Why do you keep asking? Mr. Romero, would you at any time be able to remember what type of clothing Amber Heard was wearing from one of her? events? Nope, I don't remember. Um, would you remember on any daily basis uh, what type of hairstyle she was wearing? Nope. Would you remember? That is, God, that is so, that is so fucking desperate. He clear, it, 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 uh, let me ask you something. If you can't remember the clothes that somebody was wearing, can you actually remember what their hairstyle was or what their what makeup they have on? Like, can you? If you can't remember what clothes they're wearing, you're not gonna remember what makeup they had on. Like, it it's just pathetic. Remember on any type of basis, uh, what type of uh, uh, bag she was Amber Heard was carrying? No. Would you be able to say? Uh, whether she, Amber Heard, was dressed up or casual on any given day. He literally just said he doesn't remember what she was wearing. How is he going to remember that? They are so desperate. No. Would you be able to uh, say whether she was, what type of makeup Amber Heard was wearing on any given day? No. Would you be able to say, for example, whether Amber Heard had on concealer or foundation? He doesn't remember what clothes she was wearing. How is he going to remember that she had makeup on? I'm going to be honest. It's so much easier to remember somebody's shirt than their makeup. It, it, it's easier. It, makeup is just something on the face. If he doesn't remember what clothes they're wearing, she was wearing. He's not going to remember what makeup she was wearing. It's just desperation by this damn lawyer. I'm going to skip ahead, actually, because I'm just trying to keep this short. Um, it's coming up. It's actually, it is actually gets the jury to laugh what happens. It's so fucking funny. And it said here... Uh, Look at look at the, look at the frustration in his face. He's like, now he's like, like look at that. I honestly feel sorry for this man. He clearly he said no to so many of their questions. There were questions he said yes to, questions that weren't uh, damaging to either side. Actually, they're trying so hard, and some of these questions he asked, he answered yes to were good for Johnny's side. So the people who are on Amber's side in this case, they really don't have a real case. They're just trying their most desperate to win a, and to win what should be realistically an unwinnable case. The only reason why Amber Heard would ever win is because of <clears throat> the cancel culture and the Me Too movement is a positive thing, but unfortunately there are people who have taken it the wrong way and react like men bad, women good, women victim. Like, well, if you say women victim, that actually detriments your movement. You're supposed to try to treat everybody equally. If you're going to take advantage of the fact that women have been shut down for long, for, for you know, centuries, um, don't continue to push that status forward. Instead, do things that make women seem empowering and look empowering through actions, not, you know, the victim complex that Amber Heard is clearly doing. Did you, so Saturday was the 21st? Actually, to be honest, I'm sorry, I don't know if I even explained that very well, but... <laughs> 
Um, there's other people who can explain it a lot better than me, but anyways, continue. Did you work that day? No. Look at, look at, so frustrating. No. Did you work May 23rd? Yes. On May 23rd while you were working, did you see Amber at any time? I don't recall seeing her. Question, did you work on Tuesday, May 23rd? All right, we're almost done. Where towards the end. any of those videos? No, I can't, I can't tell you. Can you I didn't tell even me? know she was wearing any lipstick. Can you tell me? Tell me <laughs> Poor guy, man. I'm so sorry you had, you had to deal with this. No. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any foundation in any of those videos? No. I can, can't tell you. Can you tell me whether Poor Amber guy. Heard was He's wearing so stressed out. You can tell. Any of those videos? No. Can you tell me whether Amber Heard was wearing any powder on, in any of those videos? No. No, but she looks really pale. Well, do you know what shade of concealer or foundation or powder Ms. Heard uses? He just said no. No. Okay. Um, so you don't know whether Ms. Heard was wearing makeup in every one of those video clips, correct? Correct. I'm going to try to move along. So. <laughs> the... yes. Oh, gosh. He was. I thought he was smoking, but I guess he was vaping or something. Like, <laughs> so, this is such shoddy work by the, the Amber team. It's so insane. <laughs> you don't question somebody who's like I, I think he's like on a lunch break from his job. Like, that's what I read in the comment section on the Popcorn Planet video. He's like, um, people are like, man, this guy's like probably on his lunch break from work, and he has to deal with this. <laughs> May 21st, 2016. God, he just wants to get this over with so badly. Because the questioning is so right. stupid. Right. He said right. you saw Amber Heard hundreds of sure. times while she was there. Amber Heard treat you well and was she friendly to you in each of these hundreds of times? Yes, yes. I, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> now he's driving. Right, this is my last Be nice. All right, this is my last question. You know, what if driving would have made her stop asking questions? Like, I, I, I know this probably was really her planned last question, but like, notice how she asked the last question when he starts driving. What if he just started driving at the beginning and, you know, what if she was like, oh crap, I can't question him anymore. <laughs> oh, bit that hilarious. You testified in response to Mr. Presidio's questions um, that you testified truthfully in all of these occasions. Did you testify truthfully, truthfully to everything that you testified in response to my questions today? Uh, duh. That's correct. Uh, All right. I, I did. All right. It's a good time to break for lunch. Uh, we'll just break a little early, so just don't talk to anybody. Don't do any outside research, and we'll see you at 2 o'clock, okay? Thank you. Oh, poor judge. Like, you could look at her, and the camera zooms in because it sees it, too. Like, you, you see her, you're just thinking, like, I, I don't know what she's actually thinking. I can't, like, say what she's thinking because obviously I don't know. But that just looks like the face of someone who's, like, tired and just has, like, had enough of this case, you know? And she's just thinking, this is what I have to deal with? You know, like, she's probably, she could be thinking, like, oh, I went to law school for this? <laughs> you know, like, this ca this case is so stupid now, because we, we want justice for Johnny Depp. Seriously, he, he is the victim. Amber Heard is a monster. She is a horrible human being. But, um, like, honestly, she's trying so desperately to get people on her side without any evidence to support her side at all. Johnny Depp has plenty of evidence to support his side. He is the one who was abused by Amber Heard. And I'm sorry, if... The thing is, if you don't think that's possible, if you don't think men can be abused, then you're part of the problem men can very much be abused and it's not just from other men they can be abused by women too men have emotions just like women do 
they may be expressed uh, differently, but it still kind of depends on the person. There's plenty of um, serious relationships where the man is the more emotional one, and the woman's more um, not cold, but what's the word? Uh, <clears throat> I guess stoic, more uh, you know, focused on the the on uh, the task, doesn't try to put the emotions into it. There's plenty of relationships where it, the emotional person is the man and not the woman. Um, you know, uh, uh, heterosexual relationships. Obviously, if it's homosexual relationships, I mean, it could go either way because, you know, they're both the same sex. But, um, yeah, to, to say that, oh, uh, women victim, men bad, it, it, it's... Actually, backwards thinking. Very backwards thinking. So, um, justice for Johnny. Seriously, justice for Johnny. Oh, I pressed the wrong buttons. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I did that. Um, <clears throat> anyways, let's get to the last part, because... Yeah, what the judge is saying here, it's pretty funny, too. She's staying, she's professional, like, this is a damn good judge. I, I, I have to say, she's a really good judge. I could tell that she's a really good judge, but, like, this is really getting to her. This is really annoying her. I, I, I wonder if she'll take, like, a paid time off after this. Like, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> I don't know, but she, she's a damn good judge, but, wow, what she's having to deal with is just ridiculous. I love it. Look how happy they are. Amber Heard's team is trying so hard. Look at you can see the woman behind. Actually, I'm actually I'm not sure who she is to be honest, but um, she did present the evidence or present the, the footage. I mean, that was a first. I'm sorry. I, I, will, I will say you're wrong. That is the most bizarre episode. Okay, all right. I just, see, I've just never seen that before. He's I've seen a lot of things, but I've just he never seen that. Driving that. Yeah, that did it. All right, so um, we will come back at 2. Uh, is there anything preliminary before we get to the next deposition? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll You'll work through them, and then if I come back at 2, we should be able to take care of it pretty quickly? Yes. yes okay, sure. all right, great. We'll come back at 2. Then. Thank you. Yeah. She didn't, basically, I've never seen that before, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm going to be honest, what she said there, I've never seen that before, is a very nice way of saying that this is stupid. It, it really is. Um, hey, look, James Rolf doesn't have time. Oh, wait, no, never mind, I don't know. But, <laughs> um... Like... I guarantee you she thought that was incredibly stupid. Just like Johnny Depp did, just like so many others did. Heck, Amber Heard herself might have thought that was stupid. <laughs> Maybe even regretted uh, doing uh, the decision to have that presented in court. <laughs> stupid. Oh my gosh. Um... <clears throat> How many times had that witness said no? I would love... Um, someone should just upload an edit where it just counts how many times he said no. Uh, maybe if I have time, I could try doing that now that I have Da Vinci. Um, after Adobe stole my premiere that I had bought 10 years ago. Um, but, yeah, that I, I would love to just... You know, just see editors. No, 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 no. Actually, if you watch the Popcorn Planet video that introduced me to this to begin with this morning, um, there is a, a an edit that shows a bunch of no, 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 no from the guy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just do that. Just add a count to it. And just <laughs> they're so desperate. It's so sad how desperate they are at trying to make Johnny Depp look bad when there was nothing, when he did nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, 
Amber Heard is a monster. Justice for Johnny. Seriously. And it's not just about... Uh, what, what, if Johnny wins the case, which he should, um, if the court of law works how it's supposed to, he should win the case. Um, if... Not identity politics, what's, what is it called? Gender politics or something get in the way of it, then, yeah, the jury might change their ruling based on such stupid stupidity like that. It's a good thing this is in Virginia, not in... Uh, I mean, Virginia is a blue state, but like it's not um, here in California, where, um, especially like down LA, where they might actually react to things very differently there. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe they probably would still favor Johnny, to be honest. But um, anyways, if uh, if Johnny Depp wins the case, which he should, Hollywood owes him a huge apology. He was the victim, and yet he got punished. Disney's trying to make a Pirates of the Caribbean movie without Johnny Depp. That is going to bomb so bad, and they are going to deserve that. Because Johnny Depp was the victim the whole time. Men can be victims of abuse, even from women. Men are capable of emotions. They're capable of um, trying to understand things. If you've been listening to some of the audio f from the case before, there's proof that Johnny that Johnny and Amber would, had gotten into arguments, and Johnny would say would say that he's going to walk away to because he doesn't want he doesn't want to argue anymore, and there isn't really anything wrong with that at all. There's nothing. Um, Paola, my, my wife, would walk away if we're in an argument. I would walk away from her if we were in an argument. Sometimes we just keep arguing and arguing, but we don't uh, scream as loud as possible. We don't throw massive fits like Amber Heard did. Uh, we don't strike one another. And that's the thing. Amber struck Johnny. She didn't have to do that. But she's calling him the abuser. Um, the fact that he's trying to walk away from the argument means he's trying to be the bigger grown-up, trying to be like, okay, this is this argument's going nowhere. We need to walk away and cool off and you know be reasonable about it. Amber Heard just wants to keep pushing the argument and pushing the argument and was saying, oh, I'm trying to resolve the problem. You don't want to resolve the problem. It's like, clearly you're mad. You're really mad and you seem to not be seeing reason johnny depp was seeing reason reason being reasonable was to leave the argument amber heard wasn't seeing reason she just wanted to win the argument to her resolving the issue is johnny depp admitting that she's right no no matter even if she's completely wrong unfortunately men and women both sides of it there are too many people like that. There are way too many of them like that. Um, in fact, uh, I have two older brothers. The one that's in good standing with our family, my oldest brother, he moved to Idaho. No problem. Uh, we, we've had disagreements about a lot of things, unfortunately. Alongside moving to Idaho, he's very right-wing, but... Um, Oh, by the way, I'm not left-wing. I'm progressive and anti-establishment, but I'm not going to get into that. Politics suck. Fuck politics. Anyways, my other older brother, who's only like two years older than me, he sucks. He's a terrible person. And I'm not going to say his name, because that's just mean. But <clears throat> before... This isn't what what I'm, I'm going to describe of him is definitely not the worst thing he's ever done at all, but he's one of those guys who would always argue and argue and argue. He would never accept that he's wrong about something. He's never once done it. He did it. I think I remember him doing it one time, but that was because we weren't, we weren't even arguing about that something. But he'll turn something into an argument because he will not admit when he's wrong. He's so hell-bent on being right about everything that you just kind of have to be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm out of here. I'm not even talking to you anymore. Um, and actually, sometimes he would not accept that either. So, yeah, 
both genders, both both sexes, are capable of. Um, I said sexes, not genders. I know there's more than two genders when you count trans, trans, and all these other genders. Both sexes. Um, I, <laughs> someone on Twitch stopped uh, being partnered because she said there's only two genders. It's like a really stupid reason to do that. But um, anyway, um, <clears throat> the fact is, both sexes have those people who just are incapable of saying that they're wrong about something. And it, it, it's not, it's annoying. Talking to them is, it just gets you nowhere. And it's just how it is. And you just can't, you just have to like, either just be like, fine, you're right. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Or just be like, you know what? Whatever, dude. I'm out of here. <laughs> but, uh, and basically Johnny Depp went the right, went the route of, you know, this argument is going nowhere. I'm going to take a breather. And Amber Heard was not having any of it. He didn't want her. He, she didn't want him to take a breather. She wanted to just keep arguing until she'd won the argument. Um, sadly, there are too many people like that. Too many of them. <clears throat> um, that said, well, this went a lot longer than I meant for it to. <laughs> But uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please click that bell icon to add me notifications. Um, I am actually considering doing a reaction to another video that came out recently, but I haven't. Uh, I'm unsure of that because this was too. This was more interesting, more important. Um, but anyway, it's the new nostalgia critic video. It just came out yesterday about the new Pinocchio film uh, that's like everybody hates <laughs> so um, anyways if you guys uh, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to record a reaction to that and if you say that you do please come watch it I'd appreciate it that says thank you so much that said I can't even think correctly. I, I, I've gotten stupider by the minute by watching this, that, that video. <laughs> uh, that says, thanks watching video. Good, great. Her lose. Her dumb. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, anyways, Amber Heard's probably not even dumb at all. She's probably actually pretty smart. She's just an asshole. Um, anyways, Team Johnny.